big banks are facing an enormous challenge with every aspect of banking rapidly changing from payment rails to technology and from regulation to governance. That's right. They're required to lead at the forefront of these changes while supporting clients and at the same time raise governance standards and provide thought leadership. And to explore these challenges, we're joined by Sabri Salman, Managing Director, Global Head of Financial Institutions and Fintechs at Barclays Corporate and Investment Bank. Welcome back to Cybos TV. It's been 12 months. I've, I've missed you. Um, <laughs> are you. Have you enjoyed the first day? It's been great, uh, Johnny Janela. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's been a great uh, first day and looking forward to the rest of the week. Well, it's great to have you back. Now, you were recently ranked first place, uh, considering a leading provider of sterling services as well as a leader in multi-currency relationships globally. Uh, what's gone into achieving this status in financial institutions and fintechs over the course of the last few years? Uh, Johnny, I mean, it's going to be a, a slightly long answer, but let me start with... Um, Look, Barclays is well known for being a 328-year-old in institution. And when you reflect on that, you don't get there without being innovative and keeping up with the times. Um, and at the heart of it is really staying close to the client journey. I mean, that's how I feel. And if, you, if, I, if I look at my 19 years in Barclays, I've seen that time and time again. Uh, we see client at the heart of everything we do. We see innovation and that curiosity to stay ahead. And if I bring it back to sort of the rankings and our GBP services and so on, um, in financial institutions particularly, we got to recognize that our clients, the financial institutions, have underlying clients themselves. And we got to kind of go to go a step further and really understanding those client journeys. And that's what Barclays has been doing a bit more in the last four years, is investing and powering the possible for our financial institutions. So if I just end by talking about the four areas that we have learned from this survey this year and how we achieved the ranking. Um, number one, it's to do with uh, being confident of, about your strategy and client selection. Look, we've got a bunch of clients that we really, uh, we really can make a difference and invest into and make a, di uh, you know, uh, you know, follow their journey. So number one is client selection and being confident of your strategy. Uh, number two is uh, what the survey called as calling officers, so relationship directors who are at client sites, uh, you know, being with them. Uh, we've scored really well on calling officers and relationship directors, and that's in investing in talent and development. Number three, now this is critical, it's service. So we are a service industry, and sometimes people take that for granted. So if you don't get your service right, clients will punish you. Mm -hmm. But if you do get it right, they will reward you with that loyalty and, and, and remain so. And lastly, now this is really interesting and really relevant, relevant to Cybos, is client time is precious, right? So there's an element of leaving something for them that they can use with their organization and their client journey. So, you know, we work really hard in leaving insights and thought leadership with our clients and recognizing the client time is really important. Mm -hmm. So if I were to summarize, that's been, uh, that's been the difference, uh, I guess, uh, in being number one. You are uniquely combining your expertise in correspondent banking globally with banking fintechs in UK and Europe. And, and many other banks are beginning to see the benefits of, of combining product technology and governance knowledge of th those sectors. So have you continued to, to raise the governance standards in those sectors, but still maintain a strong relationship? So this is, this is a tough, tough journey. And, and this is where, uh, when we look at partnerships with clients, particularly in the sort of risk and governance space, it has to be a true partnership. We move away from being a supplier, being invisible in the background, to truly being partners with the, with the client. And that requires uh, not only challenging our own organization in the way we do things, the way we approach governance standards, but also challenging the clients. Now, that's really tough, right? And that uh, will bring uh, forms of friction, it will bring debate, but it can only be achieved with, with that kind of partnership with the client, recognizing that together you can raise the standards. Now, I really love it when CEOs have dialogues in the form of, hey, uh, what do you think about our strategy? Uh, you know, 
what do you think about the quality of my staff? You know, should I be doing more in terms of talent? Should I be no, doing more in terms of governance and standards? When we have conversations with CEOs uh, in that zone, you kind of know you got it right. Because for me, uh, governance and risk management is about culture. And, and if we can um, make sure that we're driving the right culture within our own organization and with our client, you're actually in a, in a really good space. And lastly, and I, I started off saying this is a tough one. Lastly, I think you also have to have the ability to say no. Now, I'm, I'm sure you're going to say, look, when you're, when you're a leader in, in your space, you have the luxury of saying no. But I think it becomes harder uh, because you, you shouldn't just say no. You should also explain the reasons and rationals and in most cases educate the client. And that no turns into an opportunity to work with the client uh, in, the, in the longer term. Now, on the topic of payment technology and banking rails, uh, we're in the midst of an industry transformation. It feels like we have been for a, for a handful of years now, at least, of ISO 20022. Uh, how has the Barclays experience been so far? Uh, and what are your views on competing technologies such as blockchain or crypto? So I can say with a level of certainty that this year's Cybos ISO 20022 will be one of the biggest topics discussed. I can't get, it, get a feeling from day one yesterday. Um, so again, a lot of work's been put in, not just in Barclays, but most of the financial institutions around the world, because this is not, this is not something we're looking to compete with. The, the entire ecosystem needs to do well. So that's kind of our philosophy. So we want to help each other and get this right. Um, and I was chatting to uh, a CEO of a fintech, and you'd probably see more CEOs of fintechs uh, joining Cybos, which is actually a great, uh, great move. Uh, I kind of said, look, what's your experience of Cybos day one and your first Cybos? And he was like, Sabri, look, we've made copious notes on ISO 20022, and whoa, I didn't recognize how important this topic is, and I've got to get back to my team, and I've got to digest this information. And this is not just about an infrastructure move, this is about an opportunity uh, which we don't really understand. And I think, I think my client summarized it well for us. This is not just an infrastructure change. This is uh, about an opportunity that not all of us fully understand in terms of the transition. Um, so I'm going to answer your question in terms of the Barclays experience. Uh, it's been good. Look, we've, we've thrown in everything to get this right. And I'm so glad, a bit of a virtual hug almost to say we kind of got it right. Uh, and we're very pleased with the Barclays journey, uh, particularly in the milestones we have this year, whether it was a transition on SWIFT and CHAPS and Target 2. Um, I think the journey uh, continues. Next year, we've got uh, US, we've got Hong Kong, uh, and then into 2025. So there's a lot more work to do, but we're very pleased not just about the Barclays uh, uplift, but how we've been keeping clients informed as to what this means for them. And we've got to do a lot more. And the entire industry needs to rally behind this idea. Well, Sabri, it's always great to have you in the Cybos TV studio. Uh, looking forward to hopefully another informative chat in 12 months' time to see where we are on this journey. And whilst there are still several days left of Cybos in Toronto, hopefully you'll get some, some real hugs as well as some virtual <laughs> ones. Uh, Sabri Salman, Managing Director, Global Head of Financial Institutions and Fintechs at Barclays Corporate and Investment Bank. Thank you so much again. Thanks, Johnny. Mm -hmm.